Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good day, viewers. Uh, we welcome you to uh, today's uh, Daily Fountain devotional of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Uh, I pray that the Lord will bless you as we share the Word of God together. Uh, let me uh, invite you to uh, bow your head so that we can pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, this opportunity and the privilege to share your Word with your people. Father, we pray that the entrance of your Word will bring light. And Lord God, give understanding to each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because we know that you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Uh, our text will be taken from the text for uh, this devotional. Uh, will be taken from Romans chapter 12, uh, 9 to 21. Romans 12, 9 to 21. And I read from New King James Version. Uh, let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, in honor giving preference to one another, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints, giving to hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice, and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men, if it is possible. As much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Praise the Lord. And may the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. So we, uh, we look at the passage that we just read. Uh, according to our devotional today, a child of God is that person who has received the salvation of Christ and has turned a new life in him. In other words, he or she has started living and acting like Christ. This is who a child of God is. And we are looking at a genuine child of God. You see, uh, sometimes because of where we have found ourselves, you know, we keep you know, defining and redefining and redefining and qualifying and qualifying. You know, it's, it's supposed to be a child of God. A Christian is supposed to be a Christian. You know, but today, when we, we, we ask somebody, you know, are, are you a Christian? You say, yes, I'm a Christian. You say, are you sure you're a Christian? Are you a genuine Christian? Are you really a child of God? We get into this definition because of the way we have watered things down. Ordinarily, there's nothing like, you know, nominal Christian. There's nothing like, you know, he's just a nominal Christian. A Christian is supposed to be a Christian. In that place in Acts of Apostles, where the uh, body of Christ were called Christians for the first time, they were called Christians because they were imitating the pattern their life according to. Uh, the life of Christ. So this 
people, the villagers, the neighborhood, you know, the, the people of the city, the unbeliever, they saw them, they, they, they look at them, they were not behaving like them. And because of that, they say, oh, who are these people behaving like? And they say, oh, there is this Jesus Christ, you know, that led, you know, some people will say he, he led a revolution. But there was this Jesus Christ that died in, 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 in the land of Cana. They are followers. They are are doing like him they are walking like him they are talking like him they are behaving like him and they were called christians but let's go back to uh, the topic you know uh and it's a, a genuine child of god because of where we are you know we cannot bet you know, uh, use some of these words to define who a child of God is. So, uh, what makes you a child of God is your acceptance of Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. When you accept Him because you found out that you're a sinner that needs a Savior, and that Savior is Jesus Christ, and you accept Him into your life as your Lord and your personal Savior, you have become a Christian. You have become a child of God. The next thing to do is to begin to walk according to Christ. You know, you start doing things, you hear the word of God and the word of God will keep, you know, uh, taking away. You know, maybe one day at a time, you know, something drops. One day at a time, another thing drops. One day at a time, you know, or you keep walking towards perfection. Praise the name of the Lord. So from the passage today, many things have been revealed to us, which when we live when we live by them, we will be known as genuine children of God. These virtues, these things that have been revealed to us, uh, one, as a Christian, we have to be people that are sincere. In verse 9 of Romans chapter 12, the Bible says, Let love be without hypocrisy. Let love be without hypocrisy. So, you whatever we do, it must, is, it must be sincere. We should not be this people. We should not be this uh, uh, people that will smile. You know, you know, like this professional smile. You put on a smile, but you don't really mean it. You know, you 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 just say things, especially in the time and in the age that we live in right now. We call it PC culture. You know, the, you you want to be politically correct because you want to be politically correct. You don't say what you mean. You don't say what is in your heart. You just say things that you've been asked to say, you know, so that you sound professional, so that you don't offend anybody. We must be sincere. Even when we tell the, the truth, we have to do it in sincerity. Our, in our life, people must be able to see uh, sincerity in our life. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we have to hate evil. A child of God must hate evil. You don't have business with evil. You're not supposed to be associated with anything evil. A child of God must hate evil. We must hate evil. And we have to hold on to good deeds. We have to hold on to good deeds. Remember, we, we are saved. Our salvation is... We were saved, okay, not because of our deeds. Our deeds did not, is the grace of God that got us to where we are. We must always remember that. But that the grace of God brought us to where we are does not mean that, you know, we will now begin to abuse grace. Okay, so after we are saved, the Bible says we should walk out our salvation with fear and trembling. So good deeds must follow. I mean, you can't tell somebody that you are a child of God and you are, your deeds are showing the deeds of darkness, the things that the devil and his cohort do. That should not be the way a child of God should be known. We have to treat 
our brethren with equal love. We have to treat our brethren with, and this is important, this is important, especially in a society like this, like Nigeria. In this Nigeria, so a society like Nigeria, where you have this class thing, okay, because of some money in your pocket, you know, you start seeing yourself like you're not a human being again, you know, you are, because you are above these other people, you, you start looking down on people. We have to treat brethren with equal love. We have to be diligent in every assignment, very, very important, diligent in every assignment. You know, diligence is important. The Bible said, if you see a man that is diligent in his works, he will not stand before ordinary people. He will stand before kings. That is what makes the difference. Diligence is called diligence. It's called diligence. It makes a difference in the life of a Christian. You know, sometimes you hear stuff like, I am being persecuted in my workplace because I, I pray. I am being persecuted in my workplace because, you know, and you ask a question, somebody will say, oh, I went to Navy jail, you know, and because I was sleeping in my work. Come on, you work is work. Work is not a place you sleep. Work is not a place that will compensate for your knife is you. Work is not a place that will compensate for 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 whatever you do. You should not bring, you know, your Christianity, your 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 religion should accompany you to to your workplace in in the way of doing the right things and not in the way of doing the wrong things okay so when you are not diligent what what marked what marked the likes of joseph out in the association with their job it was diligence it was they were very very diligent in he was very diligent he was so diligent that he could perceive that his boss in the prison, you know, was wearing a sad countenance. It was diligence. He paid, uh, he pays attention to details. He was interested in, he was, he, he, he was interested in, in, in what he was doing and he did it very, very well. What happened? He appeared before kings. If you see a man that is diligent in his work, he will not appear before ordinary people. He will appear before king. You must rejoice in him always. Rejoice in him always, in good time and in bad time, in trials, in persecution. Rejoice in him. You know, rejoice in the Lord always. And I say again, rejoice. In times of trial, rejoice. God is in control. That is the reason why people will know that you are a child of God. A genuine believer, a genuine child of God is that Christian that is joyful that you know external factors does not control the limit of his joy you know your joy is not manipulated f uh, from the outside because you have christ in you and you will say the joy of the lord is my strength praise the name of the lord when you are being persecuted rejoice be happy when you are going through stuff not just know what you cost for yourself not things that are avoidable but when it's about your faith when you you cannot sleep with your boss because of your faith when you cannot give that bribe to pervert justice because of your faith and you are being persecuted when promotion is being uh, 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 people are being promoted and he will not promote you because you refuse to do what he wants you to do that is wrong be happy i am telling you there is something that is i mean we say it all the time you know god's time is the best believe me god's time is the best that time will come those trials are the things that are preparing you building capacity in you you know helping you to be able to get to the place where god will hand tangible things into your hand he will hand eternal things into your hand praise the name of the lord so so learn as a genuine child of god 
we you have to rejoice you have to stay strong in prayer a prayerless christian is a powerless christian we cannot say that enough in the scripture that we read we also see where paul uh, 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 was admonishing the Roman Christians, talking to them about, you know, how they relate with even their enemies, okay? He said, repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depend on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to rot, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. And he said, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. This one is tough because I have had some, I've also had some things, you know, you know, some things like, you know, uh, don't give, don't give stuff to your enemy. If you give them stuff, you know, they are going to take it to uh, a, a juju shrine and they will, and they will uh, do stuff that will retard your progress. Let me tell you, child of God, who, all of you that are watching uh, me this day. That is a lie from the pit of hell. In, it contradicts the word of God. That's why you should know that it's a lie. It contradicts the word of God. Look at what the word of God says. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. You are actually the one that has the upper hand. You are actually the one that is in charge. When you do what God says you should do, and not when you refuse to do it because of something that one prophet told you, because of something that one prophetess told you, because of one barbershop gossip that you heard somewhere, that if you give somebody something, if you give somebody something to your enemy, he will take your luck. Come on, child of God. You don't even know who you are. You don't even know the power you carry. You don't even know the man that is behind you. You don't even know the God that is on your side. The Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? If God be for you, how can you be obeying the word of God? And the devil will have upper hand will in such a way that he will retard your progress. May God help us. May the Lord give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Help your brothers. Love those who persecute you. It is it's a tough one. Love. Love people that persecute you. Don't repay evil uh, with evil. If you do that, what is the difference between you and them? What is the difference between you and them? Don't call. You know, you know I've also, I've also, I've also... I've also seen that, you know, children of God are getting into areas, things that, that we, we, we are not supposed, we can't use foul language. And we are saying these things and we are saying is, we are inspired. How can you be using foul language and you say you are inspired? How can you be cursing people out? How can you be cursing your husband out? How can you be cursing your wife out? Some even will curse their children out and you say you are a child of God. No, no way. No way. A genuine child of God, a genuine child of God must guard his mouth, guard your tongue. Hallelujah. Guard your tongue. Must know. See, in the book of James, the Bible says, you know, how can the same fountain produce sweet and bitter water? The same fountain from the same faucet, you know, you, you get sweet water. The next time you come, it's bitter water. You can't be that. You cannot be both bitter and sweet. You can be hot and cold as a child of God. Believers in Christ Jesus, we have to live like Jesus taught us. We have to pattern our life like Jesus wants us to. Be happy with your brother's progress. That's another thing. A genuine child of God must 
uh, must have. You have to be learn to be happy with other people's progress. You know, there are people that, you know, if it's not them, if it's not about them, you know, just for the mere fact that somebody is giving a testimony, oh, God bless me, God did this one for me, God did this for my husband, for my wife, for my children, and it's not happy, it's sad. You are sad. If you don't rejoice when uh, somebody, your neighbor, when God gives good break to your neighbor, come on, do you think it will come to you? Is a seed you are sowing. When you sow a seed of, of, of sadness in when somebody is being favored by God, come on, nothing like that will come your way. So be happy with your brother's progress. Don't envy your brother. Don't envy your sister. Don't envy your friend. It has not happened to you. You, you've not gotten there yet. It doesn't mean you won't get there. Just be happy. Just rejoice with them. Rejoice with people that are rejoicing. Be happy with them. Praise the name of the Lord. So the above virtues are mostly neglected among believers. Emphasis has been on manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit as against the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's a well-known fact that today, we have magnified the gift of the Holy Spirit. We have so magnified the gift of the Holy Spirit. In, in fact, people go to some people go to church, you know, because they are looking for, they are looking for uh, uh, where you know where where some of these gifts have been blown, like sometimes out of proportion, out of proportion. We are more interested in the in the gift and in not in the fruit. So the Christian faith is a lifestyle. And once, once life is contradictory to the virtues of the faith, then one is not of God. Our faith, you know, like, like you know, religion, religion is man looking for, searching for God. But Christianity is God coming down, condescending, low brought himself low to pick us up that is what it's a relationship god found us you know sometimes we say I, you know i gave my life to christ you know i i found jesus no it's actually god that found us it's actually jesus that found us for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life it's him that found us okay it's him that found us. And we have to, we have to live like he wants us to live. And now let me let me let me let me get make sure I get this one clear. Now, that does not mean that we will not, you know, uh, stumble sometimes. It doesn't mean that we will not fall sometimes. But because you are genuinely you know, uh, uh, a child of God, you are a genuine, you are a real Christian. You did not faint on the cross, you know, you died on the cross. What will happen will be that when you stumble, you will get up. When you fall, you will get up. The Bible says, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, God is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want to plead with every one of us, every one of us that is uh, within the hearing distance of my voice. I want to plead with us that to live the life that God has called us to live. Look at what Jesus says. He says, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A child of God is the light of the world. You are the reason why people are seen around you. You are the reason why people are surviving around you. That is who you are. You are the salt of the earth. You are the reason why things are being preserved in and around you because you are a child of god let's live that life and as we do that my prayer is that the lord will bless you the lord will strengthen you the lord will help you the lord will see you through in the name of jesus christ we pray that god will help us to love 
as he loved us, as Christ loved us. That is our prayer. I pray that God will help you to love your enemy, that God will help you to to love the people that persecute you. God will help you to pray for people that persecute you. God will help you to uh, uh, live this life that other people will see. And when they see it, they will glorify our Father that is in heaven. God will help you to treat people equally, to love without hypocrisy. God will help you to be diligent. If you are this Christian that is not diligent, our prayer is that the grace of the Lord will rest upon Upon you the grace to be diligent will rest upon you from today onwards in the name of Jesus Christ father we thank you for everything that you have done for us today thank you for your word that we have had blessed be your holy name thank you king of glory help us to be doers and not just hearers alone in Jesus mighty name we pray amen Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for uh, being part of today's uh, uh, devotional. May the Lord bless you. Remember to join us tomorrow for another edition of Daily Fountain. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.